Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on a Windows computer. Now the first step is to disable or enable Steam input. Now for this, you can go to the Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to controller tab. Now over here, you can select disable Steam input, and then you can launch the game and then check. Still not working, then in that case, you can go to properties once again and controller tab, and this time you can try enable steam input and then check which one is working fine for you now if you are playing the legacy version in that case do the same thing now the next step is to close the game update your controller using playstation accessories app or xbox accessories app now if you have a uh, xbox controller then you can open xbox accessories app you can open microsoft store and then type in xbox accessories app and then if you, if you don't have it installed, you can install it. In my case, it is already installed. Once installed, you can open Xbox Accessories app. Now, once you open Xbox Accessories app, you can connect your controller using the cable. So make sure that you use the cable to connect your controller to the computer. And once it is connected, now you can click on three dots. And then over here, you will see update now option. If there is any update, you will see update now option. And then you can update your controller and then once it is done now you can launch the game and then check now if you have playstation controller in that case you can use playstation accessories app if you don't have this app installed you can install it from playstation website go to playstation website so you can just type in playstation accessories app and then go to playstation website and then you can download it and then run this exe file and then install it once installed you can open playstation accessories app now once it is open you can connect you can connect your controller uh, once it is connected if there is any update you will see update option over here so update your controller and then you can launch the game now the next step is to launch steam in big picture mode now for this you can go to steam and then you can go to at the top right here you can see big picture mode icon which says enter big picture mode so click on it now once steam is is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then check still not working the next step is to enable or disable controller in steam controller settings now for this you can go to steam click on steam over here go to settings and then go to the controller tab and if you're using playstation controller in that case select the option which says playstation controller support first of all you can try this enabled in games without support w slash o support so you can select this now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try enable you can even try not enable and check which one is working fine for you similarly if you have xbox controller if this is off you can turn it on launch the game and then check if it is already on then you can turn it off launch the game and then check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to now playstation controller user you can use ds4 windows application uh, this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can just install this DS4 and configure it and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, or any USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it, which you are not using. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra control connected. We have a USB dongle connected, disconnected. Disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitors so try launching the game on single monitor if you have any kind of virtual controller like vjoy you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then launch the game and then check next step is to remove controller from the bluetooth devices and pair it and connect it again so you can go to bluetooth settings make a right click then go to settings and you can remove your controller and then you can connect your controller once again. 
now you can pair it once again and once the controller is connected now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to use wired connection so if nothing is working you can use wired connection so connect your controller using the usb cable and once it is connected now you can launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get your controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel